Hello, my Scorpio darlings. How are you? <laughs> Scorpio, this is your love tarot reading. I will be doing um, any messages coming through besides love, romance. I will let you know, okay? So, um, Scorpio, what I'm getting here is that there's something you're waiting on, okay? And this could be like a job or um, like a job opportunity, um, something, it could be with school, you know, college, whatever, whatever, um, something of that sort. And whatever you're waiting on, it's been delayed, and it's been delayed for your highest good, okay? So sometimes when, we th when things get delayed, we're like, oh my God, we're not going to get it, or I want it at this time, or whatever it is, okay? And some of you... Um, might be like if it's a job it's like you you want the money of course like who doesn't want money right we all want money um but it's more like don't worry about whatever the delays it's not going to cause anything bad for you financially is what spirit is saying so i feel like spirit's really saying scorpio we got your back scorpio don't even worry about you know um Sorry, guys, this, like, lighting is just, like, I hope you guys can see. I don't know why. It's, like, hold on. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, you're going to get whatever it is that, you know, you want, Scorpio, basically. It's going to come to you. It's just that you have to, yes. What did I say? Um, it's, it's, some. there's something about, you know, it being not ready for you, okay? Even though you think it's ready for you, it's really not. And I feel like the people behind this at the group setting, it's like it was not ready. There's some type of chaos going on there. I just want to let you know. But like I said, you will succeed. You are going to grow. You will get the communication. You will get the good news, okay? Scorpio, I want you to know that. Um, they want me to, yeah, yeah, do not, listen, do not, you know, um, be disappointed right now. This is the heart chakra. So do not, you know, think like, okay, it's not going to happen or this and that. Okay. It is going to happen. Don't disappoint yourself, Scorpio. It's coming. I promise you it's coming. Okay. We can't make this stuff up. It says success and growth. It's coming to you. It just has to get into balance, okay? And also, um, Scorpio, another thing is that this is affect this is being affected by something that you have um, gone through a long time ago. So I'm seeing you get triggered. Um, it's something you went through a long time ago. Maybe in your past, one of your jobs, you got fired or laid off or, you know, um, something went down and they had to let you go or whatever it is. That is also coming up. So this is not the same time, Scorpio. That was the past. Leave it there. Um, it's like I said, there's just like some type of chaos that is going on in that group setting um, that wherever it is that you, like it's the business opportunity or a work opportunity, like I said, okay? So let's get into love, romance, Scorpio. I hope that that helped you, Scorpio. They just said you will get what you need. Do not worry. Okay, get all the gunk in the from the past out of your mind space. Okay, you need to clear your mind space, Scorpio. That's probably why you got a headache. If you're listening and you got a headache, I'm speaking directly to you. Okay, so let's see, romance, and I'll get into the tarot in a sec. <laughs> it was like, hey, why is you know, Scorpio? Um, Spirit wanted me to use these cards for you for some reason. I don't know why. We're gonna use the tarot in a sec though. All right, Spirit, what about romance does Scorpio need to know? I just heard keep trying. Uh, okay. Scorpio, I feel like you, you're trying to, you know, get back in. Some of you are trying to get back into the single phase of, like, um, being confident, dating perhaps, talking to, your, talking to people, that kind of thing, um, because you don't want any chains you know, keeping you in the past, right? So I feel like a lot of you at this time, um, 
you're not a fan of dating. Some of you are just like, okay, well, you know, you don't like it. You want something deeper. You feel like it's surface, right? But spirit is asking you just to, you know, just to just to take it lightly. Be lighthearted about dating, okay? Don't like get, you know, just do it slow set, slow and steady. You don't have to rush anything. Um, yeah, okay. Your heart space is really close. Uh like, okay, that was a spiritual slip. It's closed up for some of you. And um, forgiving people from the past is really strong, okay? Because people from the past, look at this guy's heart chakra, right? And then we got heart, heart chakra. So something for some of you, something from the past, some type of resentment is holding you back from enjoying your dating life right now, Okay? I feel like a lot of you are, like, talking to people. Let's see. Let's see who is in your energetic field, Scorpio. Spirit, tell us who is in Scorpio's energetic field. Okay. Whoa. Wow. We got the star and the hanged one. <clears throat> There's someone here, um, Scorpio, that is holding back from you, but they're dreaming about you. It's so strange. It's like, this is someone who thought of you as, okay, this is Scorpio's the real deal. I want Scorpio, um, but it's so strange how this person, even though they felt so good around you, and um, for some of you, this person might have a bird tattoo, okay? Or you might have a bird tattoo, Scorpio. Um, there's someone here that is dreaming about you, wishing about you, but not doing anything, not making any moves, Okay. And this could have to do with either they left you out in the cold or you left them. There is some sort of leaving each other. It's like, despite how we felt, we, you know, despite how I felt, I had to leave or something like, like someone had to leave the situation. Why is that spirit? Why? Why did they leave? We got Capricorn energy and seven of swords. I just heard there was something, there was something going on behind the scenes that you're, you were unaware of Scorpio. Okay. So there is something that was going on behind the scenes that you were unaware of. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So this could have to do, like, I'm not getting a cheating situation here. So if you are here and you're, think, you're saying, oh, this person cheated on me, I'm not getting that. This is more that has to do with people that they associate with um, things that are, I just heard undercover, okay? So... This could have to do with money, okay? Making money. Um, this is interesting. Yes, okay. Yeah, see, we got Scorpio here. All right, guys, so for some of you, I'm getting really strongly that this person, whoever they are, um... There's something shady around how they make money or I just heard how they give influence, how they have influence. Okay, I don't know what that means. This person lives a very interesting lifestyle. For some of you watching, somebody here is from Egypt. Hello, Egypt. I can't wait to visit you. Um...
yeah, this person, there's something that they are working on that, okay, they're like, it's top secret. Okay, all right. There's definitely hit stuff from you, Scorpio, and that's why they pulled back their energy. Spirit, we're not going to say anymore is what Spirit just said. It's it's It has to do with how they make money, how they, a certain lifestyle they live, whatever it is, that is a secret, okay? For most of you, I'm getting like money-wise, okay? Some of you, I just heard career, like how they got their career off the ground, um, yeah, huh. definitely, because some of you are wondering, like, how could somebody who is, like, very passionate towards me, they were attracted to me, they were all into me, all of a sudden just pull back their energy, and this is uh, somebody who's very, like, they kept going back and forth whether they should tell you about that Scorpio. They thought that they were going to be judged, okay? We'll get into their feelings in a second, but this person thought that you were going to judge them. Look at justice. They did not want to be misjudged by you, Scorpio, and some of you, I hear you, you're like, I'm the last person to judge people, okay, I don't know, I, I, I agree, okay, we Scorpios, we're like, we're very understanding, and I don't know, I'm talking about high-vibing Scorpios, okay, um, we're very understanding, we're very non-judgmental, like, seriously, I think we are only judgmental when it comes to ourselves, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> let me know, Scorpio, are you judgmental, okay, I know you'll be re real about it, I only judge one group of people, and I won't mention it on here. All right. All right. So, all right, let's see. How does this person feel about Scorpio right now, Spirit? How does this person feel? Sorry, I'm like shaking the table. I don't even know how this table shakes. It's like a freaking solid wood table. And it still shakes. That might be significant to know you guys about something. I get it. You... I just saw a compass. So I don't know if some of you are planning to travel, Scorpio. You should go is what Spirit said, okay? So if you have an opportunity for travel, you should go. Um, oh, God, there's so many messages coming through. I just lost my other message. Okay, it'll come to me, hopefully. I don't want to give you hope and promise something I can't deliver. So this person feels like if they reach out to you that they're going to give you hope and they don't think they can deliver what you want at this time, Scorpio. And what you want could be like something long-term. Um, I'm at war. I am at war with my inner demons. Please stay away for now. The battlefield is not the right place for you. So I feel like this person is battling something out. Like I said, there's some secrets here, guys. There is a lifestyle this person might be leading. Um, I just heard skeletons in the closet, okay? So there are some skeletons in the closet that are creeping up on this person right now. Um, with this card, the devil card here, okay? Um, and that's what they're they're working on and also their inner demons okay so something is going on with this person i wish you hadn't walked away but i know you had to okay so i feel like what happened scorpio for some of you is this person started acting shady okay and you knew what's up right you felt it your intuition 
your guidance, you know, you're just like, okay, something is off. I can't put my finger on it, right? And you possibly pulled back your energy. And at that time was when this person, something happened, like there was a shift in their energy and they're just like, okay, Scorpio walked away. Scorpio's pulling back. I know it. They know something's up. So I'm just going to pull, I'm just going to pull back too and just pull the plug. So someone pulled the plug, Scorpio, okay? And it has to do with um, them not being able to commit to you. I don't think it has to do with feelings, okay? I cannot commit to you. It is too much responsibility. You are better off without me. This person feels like they're going to mess you up. So Scorpio, this person knows, I'm sure you, you covered it, like whatever goals, wishes you're working on in your life, purpose, whatever it is, you're working on this person knows and they don't want to mess things up for you is what I'm hearing I feel like they're protecting themselves they're protecting you from them or whatever they're going through in their life I don't think I don't think this is a bad person look I don't want you to hold on to me please don't wait for me interesting anything else spirit I don't expect you to forgive me. For some of you, you got ghosted by this person. They ghosted you. Okay? I'm thinking about you right now in this moment. So, hold on. Wow, I got an extra confirmation. Did you guys hear that beep? Spirit, how does this person really feel for Scorpio? How, uh, how do they feel for Scorpio? magician wow the wheel of fortune this is so sad <laughs> Scorpio this is freaking sad like I feel like this person ooh the high priestess and the magician wow oh my god this is such a an amazing like soul connection master manifester I just heard so Scorpio it's like this person is as disappointed that it, things didn't work out as you are okay so I don't know if you were heartbroken um, or disappointed when this person left <laughs> I don't know. For me, it's like worse being disappointed than heartbroken, honestly. Um, but anyhow, let me know in the comments, Scorpio. I just heard the name Jason. I don't know. That's significant for someone. Cherry Blossoms. Cherry Blossom. Ooh, is that a spray or a perfume? Um... The Wheel of Fortune. This person thinks like they hit the jackpot when they met you. It's like, wow, now I meet someone who's finally like they're, they've got their life on. They're, they're normal. They're amazing. Scorpio, this person thinks you're freaking amazing. They thought this was meant to be, you know. And I feel like this person manifested you. It's like they manifested you. Yeah. Okay, Spirit. Thank you. Spirit just... Spirit just, someone here, uh, I don't know what Chanel, Chanel might be significant. Could be the designer brand or somebody's name. Um, Scorpio, this person, we've got so many energies here, by the way, guys. We've got Pisces, we've got Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius, Cancer, Aries Leo, Sagittarius, um, yeah, so, wow, okay. This person manifested you, Scorpio, and then they had to pull the plug. They pulled the plug on you, Scorpio. They manifested you. They had to make a decision, you know, head over heart. Decision, Scorpio, king of swords. And some of you might think like, oh my God, what happened to this person? I thought they were so into me. I thought they were so passionate towards me. 
and so on and so forth. But I'm really getting that this person um I just heard, I just heard orchid or I don't know orchid is significant. I'm getting a lot of flower themes. Scorpio flowers might be really healing for you at this time, okay? Use flower essence or get some flowers. Um, this person definitely made a decision to let go, to pull the plug. It's so it's it's really hard for this person. I hope you know that. Some of you think like, oh, it's so easy. They just moved on and this and that. But I feel like it was really hard for them. But they're using their logic, you know, over their emotions. This person is, you're not seeing that they were emotional about leaving. Scorpio. What else, spirit? How else do they feel? Wow. They feel like they lost you, Scorpio. They feel like, for some of you, I do see that this person was kind of like, okay, I stopped talking to Scorpio, but I'll, I will get reconnect with them. And then I feel like time, a lot of time passed by and they were still in, stuck in that situation, whatever this devil energy is, whatever this conflict is, however this person things have, you know, whatever it is, is that they're hiding from you. It's still present in their life. It's not, it took them longer. Like it's taking them so much longer to rid themselves of whatever that is, whatever lifestyle that is, they're still in it, Scorpio. And it's kind of like, okay, I lost Scorpio. All this time passed by. Um, but there is a world here. So let me see. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. Nine to the Ten of Pentacles. Scorpio, this person is really still thinking about you very heavily. They're thinking about, you know, long term. Like, should I? Shouldn't I? Um, I think that time is really, um, they don't have, for some reason, they don't have the time. I don't know if it's their lifestyle or whatever, or maybe they have to travel a lot for work. Whatever it is, it's like they are like, I... I can't make up a decision. Like, it's if they're like thinking of coming back, Scorpio is what I mean. Like, they still can't make up their mind because they don't know if it's going to work out for you and them as a long term. Yeah, look at this. I wish we could talk it out. Spirit just told me, pull the top card. I wish we could talk it out. I think this person wants to tell you. I, I think they want to tell you the secret, Scorpio. Maybe they were not ready then, but maybe they're ready now. And I just heard to top it all off, I have to take care of my mom. So some of you, um, this person is really being pulled in a lot of directions. Okay, no excuses. I'm just letting you know what's going on, Scorpio. Someone here is having a lollipop. You know those lollipops that are like a circle and it's swirly? Like the ones you get from like, I think, is it is it Disneyland that has those? I don't know. You know what I mean, Scorpio, like a candy store. Somebody here has an eagle tattoo. Okay. Um... I'm seeing 777. I'm seeing 1212. I'm seeing 444, 555. And 
Yeah, this person is really going back and forth with reaching out to you, Scorpio. I hope you know that. You're very heavily on their mind. And they want to talk to you, but they don't know how you're going to receive them. So I don't know if they're going to make a move. Um, okay. There's something about this person going through transformation. So Spirit just said to me, if this person can't get to you unless they go through some type of a transformation, and I feel like it has to do with whatever this is, the secret, right? It, and Spirit's saying, like, they were supposed to be going through transformation, but they're taking their time. They're taking too long is what I'm seeing. And there's a number three. So three, maybe weeks, months, I don't know. But Spirit is really saying, Scorpio, don't wait for this person. Not because they might. I mean, for some of you, they might show back up. But they better be ready. And Spirit just said, question all their moves. So if this person comes back, question all their moves that they took, okay? You need to talk about a Scorpio. Communicate, communicate, communicate. I want to touch you and get physical. Of course you do. We're Scorpios. <laughs> all right. All right, Scorpio. Um... I just heard the number 26. I don't know why that's significant. That could be a date. It could be a birthday. 21, 24, 82, 84, 87, 29. I'm getting the name Josh. Tina, um, Nata, Natalie, or Natasha, um, Julie, or Julian, Jesse, Tony. Christine. Um, Kathy. All right, guys. Um, I hope this helped you. If it has, don't forget to like this video. Let me know in the comments how you resonate. And I wish you all the best, Scorpio. Peace out.